Hey guys, this is Hafiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play your Game Boy Color and your Game Boy Advance on your computer. Before we start, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help the channel grow. Thank you. Most of us grew up playing with one video game or another. Game Boy games such as Tetris, Metroid are part of our childhood. Sometimes we just want to revisit the childhood but these games are hard to come by and if you find one, it's going to be very expensive. Playing it on PC will introduce classic game to new audience. Today, I will show you how to play your Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance using an emulator called Visual Boy Advance. This simulator will allow you to play these games on your computer and it works for Windows, Mac and also Linux. Let's start. Download the Visual Boy Advance from the first link in the description below. The downloaded file will be in a zip file. You will need to extract this. Here, I'm using WinRNR but you can use other file extractor like the Windows 7 zip. There are two folders in the zip file, the ROM folder and the Visual Boy Advance.exe. Select these two files and place it on the desktop. Next, you can go ahead delete the zip file. The Visual Game Boy Advance is your Game Boy, while the files in your ROMs folders are your games. There are three folders in your ROMs folder, Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance folder. Use this folder to organize your ROMs file. I've included some ROM hacks for you to play around with. So I can't tell you where to get your ROMs from, but if you do a simple Google search for Game Boy, Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance ROMs, there will be a few websites that you can download from. Alternatively, you can always clip this ROM from your cartridges. Double click on the Visual Boy Advance. Drag and drop your ROMs onto the Visual Boy emulator. Click on option, we will change some of the settings. We will start by changing the background color. There are many colors to choose from but I prefer the black and white. These games can be played using your keyboard or a game controller. Here I'm using the Xbox 360 wired game controller. Under option joypad, this is where you configure your buttons. And we are all set, let's play some games. This is Metroid 2 released in 1991, it's for the Game Boy. It's almost 30 years old but it's still one of the best games to play on the Game Boy. Once you start the game, the Visual Boy Advance will create a .sev file which is your save file for you to use during your save states. It's a different feeling playing this with a gamepad as compared to playing it on the Game Boy. To change to a new game, select your ROMs and drag and drop it onto the emulator. This is a Pokemon Gold released in 2000 for the Game Boy Color. Let's fast forward to the battle scene. As you can see, it's exactly the same as playing it on the original hardware. The save function works exactly the same as playing it on a Game Boy Color. This will override the current save file. Let's try some Game Boy Advance games. Select your Game Boy Advance ROM and drag it onto the emulator. The option tab, you can select the speed of the game. This will allow you to play the game a little bit faster so you can actually skip a lot of the in-game dialogue. I'm playing it at 200% speed. Overall, this emulator works wonders, but after testing, there are some limitations to this emulator. Not all games will run smoothly on this emulator, while some games will have some audio glitching. This is Super Street Fighter 2 for the Game Boy Advance. It's playable, but there are some latency and glitching. Buttons are not that responsive. Sonic Advance 2 has the same issue. This game runs a little bit slow. It's definitely playable but you may need to do some frame skipping. You can do this at the option tab. Super Mario Lens runs a bit slower as compared to original hardware. The play is a little bit slow. It is not much but it's still playable. Next, we will play one of my favorite games, Solar Striker for the Game Boy. This game was released in 1990. It is one of the best shooting games on the Game Boy. Everything works perfect here. You definitely want to check out this game. The other game that works very well is Tetris. This was released in 1989 and it is one of the best games for anyone to pick up. It works perfect here. 
and there you go that's how you play your Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games on your computer. If you have found this video useful do consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We have just crossed 200 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.